Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, I got some more of these and you may notice I did a review on the Harbor Freight ones and I I still am and was sort of kind of happy with them but I'll be real honest with you. First of all, you don't need most of the ones that they give you so there's no use in having, I mean the ones I had, in fact, we'll open the drawer here, they're still sitting there and once in a while I'll grab a hold of these if I need them but you know I like having these little tiny ones but you can get them you know in something like this that's even more handy because they're even tinier so if I was going to do it all over again I probably wouldn't buy these ones unless they were the only thing I could afford but here's the caveat on that you can go to Home Depot and grab this setup for like I can't remember if it was 12 or 15 I'll be honest we'll say less than $16 um, and the main thing I'm having an issue with, and part of the reason why I bought this one, is a couple things. First of all, I don't know how well these ones will hold up either, but the tips that I use the most in there in the house, um, they kind of are starting to twist a little bit um, in here. Not on the Phillips, but on the standard one, uh, the flathead one, if you want to call it that. But anyway, that one's kind of twisting, and that's the one you kind of use the most, so it isn't really holding up super well. Um, the coatings and all that are holding up uh, as far as that's concerned, but the tip, not so much. The other thing I've noticed with the newer um, fuses that I've been getting, uh, a lot of them have the square head uh, there, so... And I don't. I know that's a specific name, but I don't know what it is. I call it the square head one. You can put in comments below what it is if you would like to. Um, I don't know if it's Robertson, if that's what that is. Anyhow, I've noticed that I've needed that more, so I went ahead and picked this up. And it is definitely more quality. You can just feel in the, the heaviness of it. This one package of three or feels a little heavier duty than the whole package of Walmart, or not Walmart, whole package of uh, Harbor Freight ones that I bought. So you can tell it's a little more heavy duty. It's not, you know, obviously not the cat's meow if you're a professional. They're still a made in China version of what these are for. But they have the ANSI approved meat or exceeds the standards that kind of stuff um, let's see high grade s2 steel blade for long life for applications up to 1000 volts and acetate handle with anti-slip grip so 1000 volts you're probably not going to hit that in a home situation anywho and i mean i'm not going to say you won't but seriously doubt it. If you do, you did something wrong probably. Let's open them up. I'm going to do that off camera. So and like I said, you can just, you can feel a little bit more weight in these ones um, as far as quality is concerned. Uh, it's the commercial electric. That seems to be, I don't know if that's the brand or not. Always wear approved eye protection. Do not use to pry or chisel. Uh, it's got kind of like a kind of a cool clear section here. The grip, I'll be honest, a um, little bit small to my hand, and I don't have huge hands, uh, but it feels a little small in there. Um, so I could see myself being up in here doing something, and that's not the best idea. You want to, you know, that's the point of these is not to be sticking your fingers where they shouldn't be, or having any problems so uh, feels a little small in the hand the grip it does have a nice you know the softer the green parts actually soft not the good gray parts kind of slippery the green parts actually the soft part so it is fairly soft and feels fairly good as far as that but they do feel and small on the hand. side I um, don't have too much actually too much light here um, you can see it on this one I just looked and I had this, I put these in my bag, and they actually have on the ends of them what they are, which is kind of neat. So you can easily just grab them by whatever it is, because they aren't color coded, they're all the same colors, but on this little clear spot on the back, they actually got that. Now, if that holds up, uh, that'll be really nice. Anyhow, you do with it what you will. I went ahead and actually felt the need to spend the money on these because 
I've been digging into my box out here in the garage and I didn't have the proper tools out here in the garage in my actual bag because I keep those hanging by the um, by my fuse box in the house I just keep them hanging there the Harbor Freight ones um, so I didn't have them in my bag because I'm always scared I'm, I was get scared I was going to use them and beat them up too much if I had them in my bag these ones we'll see uh, right now I don't feel that or I'll just be more careful and make sure I don't grab these unless I'm using them where I need to use them that's the best best plan laid plan there is just to only use these for when you're in the box and you're around power for some reason all right I'm gonna call that a video just kind of a first look all right this is Sam Jack of all master none you all have a good one